In this video, I will go through all the blend modes and give a brief explanation how they work. I'll try to keep this video as short as possible. Blend modes are a set of tools that control how the pixels of one layer interact with the pixels of the layers beneath. Each blend mode uses a specific mathematical formula to determine the resulting color based on the color values of the active layer and the underlaying layer. The formulas will be shown on the screen and please feel free to pause the video to view the details on the screen. The blend modes are grouped into categories based on their primary functions or effects. So let's go. The Darken group. The blend modes in this group darken the image by either keeping the darker pixels or by decreasing the pixel values. The Darken blend mode. For each pixel, the darker channel will be used from the active or underlaying layer. The result is that only the darker pixels from either the active layer or the underlaying layers are visible, creating a composite image where only the darkest values are retained can be used for shadow enhancement or adding texture. The Multiply Blend Mode The color values of each pixel are multiplied with the layer below, resulting in a darker overall experience. It is probably the most used blend mode for darkening as the multiply process reduces the overall brightness with natural looking results, can be used for creating shadows or overlaying textures. The Color Burn Blend Mode Darker than Multiply, with more highly saturated midtones and reduced highlights. Acts a bit like a threshold. Truncation can occur, as the calculation can result in values less than zero. Linear Burn Darker than Multiply, less saturated and more gradual than Color Burn. Acts a bit like Multiply, with a dark threshold. Ideal when you want to have stronger, darken effect on the shadow and midtones. Darker color. Very similar to darken, with as difference that the perceived luminosity values of the pixels will be used to determine which pixel is darker. Acts a bit like a luminosity mask. The lighten group. This group consists of blend modes which lighten the image by either keeping the lightest pixel values or by increasing the pixel values. The Lighten Blend Mode Opposite of the Darken Blend Mode Only the higher channel values will be used. The result is that only lighter values from the active layer will be shown. Useful for overlaying bright elements or give a tint of color to the shadows. The Screen Blend Mode does the opposite of multiply. It is the most used light and blend mode as it generates smoother results with strong brightness. Perfect blend mode to overlay images containing black to keep the light sources like glow or fireworks. The color dodge blend mode. A stronger screen mode. Darker pixels in the active layer become more transparent, allowing the lighter colors from the layers below to show through resulting in mostly saturated mid-tones and blown highlights. The Add Blend Mode, also known as Linear Dodge. Brighter than the Color Dodge Blend Mode, but less saturated and intense. Kind of compresses the colors and the luminance. The Lighter Color Blend Mode. Very similar to Lighten, rather than looking at each RGB channel individually, Lighter color uses the perceived luminosity from the composite of all the RGB channels to determine which pixel is lighter. Acts as an inverted luminosity mask. The Contrast Group This is a group of blend modes that emphasize the differences in tonal values between the active layer and the layers beneath it. The blend modes enhance contrast by either darkening or lightening specific areas of the image. The Overlay Blend Mode Combination of Multiply and Screen Blend Mode where darker pixels are multiplied and lighter pixels are screened. Darker blend colors shift the midtones to darker colors. Light tones shift the midtones to brighter colors. Important to know is that the determination of light or dark pixel is based on the bottom layer. In all the other contrast blend modes, the active or the top layer is used. Great for enhancing contrast and saturation in an image. The Soft 
light blend mode. Soft light is a combination of overlay and hard light blend mode and usually feels like a softer version of the overlay blend mode. It results in a softer and a more diffused effect compared to overlay or hard light. Probably the most used contrast blend mode. The hard light blend mode. Basically, the same as the overlay blend mode with as difference that the active or the top layer is used to determine dark or light pixels for the calculation. In a sense, the opposite of overlay. Usually has an intense and dramatic effect. The vivid light blend mode. Uses a combination of color dodge and color burn, resulting in a strong contrast and highly saturated colors can be used to stylize images in a unique way. Most of the time when this is used, it will be used with a low fill percentage. The Linear Light Blend Mode Similar to Vivid Light, but uses the Linear Dodge and Linear Burn Blend Modes. Usually, it is a more dimmed down version of Vivid Light. Just like Vivid Light, a low fill percentage can create amazing results. The Pin Light Blend Mode a combination of darken and lighten blend modes. It creates distinct boundaries between light and dark regions. When you apply the same image to itself in pin light blend mode, the image will not change. This is not the case with the other contrast blend modes. The hard mix blend mode. The pixel channel values are converted to zero or one, reducing the image to a limited number of base colors. The result is mostly a post-rised image, mainly used for special effects like comic book style effects. Also, great results can be achieved by lowering the fill percentage. The Inversion Group These blend modes use differences between pixel values and usually lead to an inversion or a negative effect. The Difference Blend Mode Calculates the absolute difference between the color values of the active layer with the underlying layers with as a fact that similar colors cancel each other and become black, useful for comparing or detecting errors in very similar images. The Exclusion Blend Mode Very similar to the Difference Blend Mode, but produce a softer and a lower contrast result. In this blend mode, white inverts the underlying color and mid-gray makes it gray. For creative use, you can combine the Exclusion with a Contrast Blend Mode. The Subtract Blend Mode. As the name states, it subtracts the top pixel values from the bottom layer. Light areas darken the most, while already dark areas produce little change. If the result is negative, it is often treated as zero, depending on the color space of the document. The Divide Blend Mode. Underlaying layer pixel values are divided by the top layer pixel values, resulting mostly in bright images. The result is the opposite of the Subtract Blend Mode. Darker colors create brighter results, while already light areas produce little change. Perfect for removing color casts. The Component Group These blend modes convert the RGB color to HSL color and then calculate the blending. The Hue Blend Mode Uses the hue of the active layer with the brightness and saturation of the underlying layers. The Saturation Blend Mode uses the saturation of the active layer with the hue and brightness of the underlying layers. The Luminosity Blend Mode uses the brightness or the luminosity of the active layer with the hue and saturation of the underlying layers. The Color Blend Mode uses both the hue and the saturation of the active layer with the brightness of the underlying layer. The Affinity Group these are less common blend modes which are available in Affinity. The Average Blend Mode Averages the active layer with the underlying layer. When there is no transparency involved, the result will be the same as setting the opacity to 50%. Using the Average Blend Mode will not make the layer transparent. The Negation Blend Mode a variation of the difference blend mode, however, it cannot be used for comparing images. The reflect blend mode is a combination of hard light and hard mix 
and acts a bit like a more organic color dodge where darker areas are more preserved. The Glow Blend Mode is the opposite of the Reflect and acts like a more organic linear light where the bright areas are more preserved. The Contrast Negate Blend Mode I'm not sure how exactly this works, but it looks like Affinity is doing a contrast calculation between the colors of the two layers. If a contrast threshold is not met, then the blend pixel color is inverted. This is why when you apply a layer to itself in contrast negate blend mode, it will have the same effect as it was inverted. This blend mode is quite useful if you want to make sure icons or text need to be readable above an image with changing colors. The Erase Blend Mode A special blend mode which does not really fit with the other blend modes as it modifies opacity values. The opacity or the fill of the active layer determines how much of the underlying layers will be transparent, can be used for masking effects. The Basic Group These are not considered blend modes, however they play a role in the blending calculations. The Normal Blend Mode the normal blend mode is in theory also a blend mode which replaces the underlying pixels with the pixels from the top layer. Because the active layer does not blend with the layers below, it is usually not considered a blend mode. Opacity. While this is not a real blend mode, it is still a blend calculation which can be used with any blend mode and introduces transparency for a layer. The transparency is calculated by blending the pixel values from the top and bottom layer using an opacity factor. The fill percentage acts as a secondary opacity except for the special 8 blend modes. When used with the special 8 blend modes, it makes the layer transparent with the neutral color of the blend mode. This usually creates a more subtle effect for the special 8 blend modes. Here is an example of the fill. In this example, we can see that a layer blended using vivid light in 50% opacity is not the same as 50% fill. However, when the layer is first blended with mid gray in 50% opacity and then blended in vivid light, we can see that the end result is the same as vivid light in 50% fill. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you did. Thanks again for tuning in and until the next video.